What's going on, everybody? Great Rizzy hanging out with you for a grind set as we grinding hard. And of course, we're setting the bars over here. And I have a young lady, and I want to make sure I introduce her the right way to everybody who's listening right now. Because I think the first time that I've ever seen you and your sister, I think I was uh, rolling around doing something positive. I'm going to just put it like that. I'm going to phrase it. I'm going to put it up like that. I was in Little Five Points, and I happened to see you performing. That's crazy. And um, over these last few years, obviously, meteoric. You've been putting in the work, of course, putting in the grind and setting mm-hmm. the bar. We have Chloe in the building with us today. How Hi. are you? I am spectacular. I'm very happy to be here in New York City. Yes. And I'm grateful and blessed to be even promoting my song. And, you know, I'm happy to working. Well, I'm happy to see you. I Just in the person. I'm so Thank tired you. of Zooms. I'm tired right? of Google Meet. What? I'm I tired know. of FaceTime. I just wanted, you know, what was the first thing I said to you? Can I hug you? And yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. yes, I'm going to hug you. I was like, yeah, great. This is this is setting it off the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, before we, in fact, let's start with this. Let's start with Have Mercy. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember the little girl. You know what I'm saying? I remember the young lady. And it's a, it's a prideful moment. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I'm like, yo, she is growing up. This yeah. is like, this was going to happen eventually. We yeah. knew this. Yeah. I just want to know what your conversation was with the family. Like, you know, I, I know how I know I know how close your family mm-hmm. is, and you know, especially when it comes to strategic planning. Mm-hmm. But please indulge. What was this conversation like, and especially with the direction we're in right now? Yeah. Oh, what was the conversation? I think it was several conversations. But the thing with me is that it wasn't like I went in a corner and was like, okay, I'm gonna be and do this. I'm just being myself and. My family knows how I am. I think it was just more of a surprise to the world because the world never sees me completely in that way. And I'm grateful to have a supportive family. And, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm just more confident in myself. And we all have bodies. We're all human. We all got the same parts. So, you know. (laughs) Right. At the end of the day, when you use the bathroom, yeah, same thing, man. This is what's going on right now. I don't understand why Mm -hmm. it's such a surprise when people see other people's bodies. Well, I'll tell you what the surprise was because, um, and not a bad surprise, and I don't want to put it that way, but I'm on IG one day, Mm -hmm. and my son, who happens to be 13 years old, says, hey, you you remember uh, Chloe and Haley? Remember when they said happy birthday to Amelia? His sister, because yep, that's yep. what you guys uh-huh. did I at, at Coachella. Is this her? And I see the picture, and I was like, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Yes, this, this is Chloe, and I don't think your mom, I don't I don't know if this one, I don't know if this picture is what you should be looking at right now, you know? <laughs> but all I saw, like, 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 like. And there's so many people who are just, like, in love with you. In fact, to the point where you, you gained a million followers after you started a solo account. Mm-hmm. What was that like for you? That was, that was unexpected, Mm. you know? Uh, My sister and I, we just made different accounts so we could be on Instagram Live together when we were going to be seven, eight months apart. So half the content on there was already on my Finsta. I was just doing me, and I was like, I made a TikTok too at the same time. That's what happened, and I did my first TikTok, and I loved watching these beautiful ladies kill it with the Busted Challenge, and I was Mm -hmm. like, I want to do it. I didn't think it would go crazy like that. And I think that was the start of it. Yeah. 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 And then it just kept going. I was like, okay, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It, it It's amazing. And I felt like that was the door opening up mm-hmm. to where we're at right now mm-hmm. with Have Mercy. Mm-hmm. Now, let's get into some music real quick. Yes. How did, and of course, like you're an amazing artist. You're Thank an amazing you. talent. I'm pretty you. sure in studio sessions, there are people crossing all the time. Well, you know, of course, before the pandemic. But how did you and Murder Beats, you know, connect and go ahead and cook this up? Instagram. This he, all happened over Instagram. Yeah, he DM'd me. He's like, I got this song. I want you to cut it. It was another song. I liked it. And it was written by one of our mutual friends. I was like, okay, sick. So he seemed really sweet. Like, I didn't think. It, it was going to be anything more than just a friendship and creating music. I was like six. So we exchanged numbers mm-hmm. and we were texting each other. He's like, have you ever got even got beat ideas you want me to finish out? Because I produce too. And I was like, oh, sick. He's cool. Like, because some producers are weird like that where they don't want you to like be a part of the production process. But if you work with me, that's not going to fly. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to touch a key over <laughs> yeah, here. I'm going to click a button. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. And mm-hmm. um one day he texted me a beat because he'll just randomly text me and he'll have no message and be a beat. And he sent me, I open it. I listened over it on my phone speakers. So, you know, if I like it over the phone speaker, this fire. 
I hear, work, work it, booty so big. I was like, I didn't want to touch it and mess it up yet. So I held on to it for about three weeks. And then I was going to go in for a session. It was this guy named Teron. I was like, okay. I've never written with him before. Mm-hmm. Walked in. He's a, he comes in, best energy ever. And he was so wise. And, you know, he kind of helped me, like, feel more confident to talk my shit. And we wrote the song in April, and it was like really a response to everyone and what they had to say about me in a negative space, which is fine. And Have Mercy was my response. Mm. And me taking that power back, like, yeah, booty so big, Lord have mercy, keep watching. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy and ironic how that ended up being my first song. Because, you know, you just create music. You don't plan like, okay, today I'm going to write the first single. You don't do that. Right, it doesn't happen like that No, no, no. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. What is it about... New York City that brings out these hell of fire, like just lit ass performances that you have done with. That's true. Have Mercy. It's all been in yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be clear. We're here in New York City. Yep. You you went ahead. You had one in Brooklyn. I didn't think about for that. the VMAs, and then oh, you okay. had you know of course with Fallon the other mm-hmm, night mm-hmm. right there in Rockefeller Center on the on the Tonight Show. Mm-hmm. What is it? What is, is it? Something about the city where you was like you know you know what it must be. I've always when I was younger, I was always like it's my dream to live in Times Square and be on Broadway. <laughs> mm-hmm. So maybe there's some... I didn't think about that. Well, I'm family. You was hella close to Broadway, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I like being theatrical in my performances. I like you to feel something and it to build and grow and be suspenseful. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't... I want to put on a show. I don't want to be boring or mediocre. There was a... Uh, within the... First of all, the, the VMA performance was incredible, but I wasn't sure how you were, you were going to top that. You know, of course, we had the male dancers for the VMAs. Mm-hmm. For the performance on Fallon, all women, all strings. Yeah. You know, you had your violins over there. I believe your cello over here. Yeah. And it was really dope. But then you just mentioned that you, you know, in production, you do produce. Yeah. I was wondering, does she know what she's doing with that SP up there? Like, is, oh, she, yes. is this all, you know, acting yeah. or do you really know? No, I saw some comments that said, is she doing that live? Right. Yeah. So that was live. Yeah. Inspiration. What was my that? inspiration? Oh, I'll tell you. Okay. I love Kanye West. Um, so he inspires me as well as Missy Elliott, Imogene Heap, Grimes, uh, Bjork. All of them inspire me in the production space. For that performance in particular, you know, with 808s and Heartbreak and My Beautiful Dark Twist Fantasy, I always loved how he would be with the piano and be with his beat machine. So that was definitely inspiration for the top half of the performance. I love Kanye. He's like, he's an icon. Mm-hmm. I I just love him. Mm-hmm. So that was definitely inspiration for that. Um, yeah. And it was so fun just taking it. Shout out to my music director, Derek Dixie. I couldn't have pulled that off without him. You know, he arranged the strings in that beginning. And he's a genius in his own right. And yeah, it was fun. I was glad I got to get the musical side out of me in the beginning. Because I'm introducing myself, reintroducing myself to the world like... I've been producing for a long time. Not many people know that. I just thought it'd be fun to show on stage because I don't want people to put me in a box. I don't want them to think they can expect what they're going to get from me every time. I'm going to switch it up because, you know, I like doing that. I don't like people thinking I'm predictable. Right, right. What I loved about it is um, some people would say a triple threat, but you're what— a quin or a, a quintuple threat. I don't know how you want threat. I don't know how you want to put it, but you know when you're talking about singing, dancing, producing, mm-hmm. writing, mm-hmm. all of these different things, um, it was just amazing to to see. You Thank know what you. I'm saying? Thank Especially you. with just the the conviction in the performance. Thank you. It was almost like opera, like in in mm-hmm. some parts of mm-hmm. it. You know. Um, let's talk about some more about here. You being in New York, mm-hmm. your Met Gala experience. Yeah. How was yes. that for you? That was really fun. I went with my sister. It was the very first time we've been invited. And it was wonderful. Like, I don't know what I expected. I guess I, because sometimes I do clam up in those kind of settings because a lot of times it's people's egos and like the energy's weird. Mm -hmm. But being in that room, it was the complete opposite. Everyone was free and having fun and so kind. And everyone was so nice. And that was the day before. After the VMAs and everyone, like, I was so surprised how many people watched my performance. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> that, so I, I, and the meal was plant-based. I'm vegan. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have to, like, say, no, I can't have this. Everything I could eat. <laughs> I was about to ask you, how was the food? 
It was good. It was light. I was still hungry afterwards, but it was good. And okay. I could eat everything and I didn't have to pick over it. Well, and good. I got to eat the dessert too. So I was happy. You got to love a party. That's a good party. And you had some good food. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's never going to go wrong with that. Yeah. Um, let's talk about acting real quick because mm -hmm. I, you know, with all of this going on right now, is that still in the picture? A lot of people have been oh, able yeah. to grow with you oh, yeah, ladies yeah, 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 on yeah. grown -ish. So yeah. is that, is that still in play for you? Absolutely. For sure. For sure. Okay. I love acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it, are we going to do some more movies? I saw some shorts that were, you know, uh -huh. there. Are we going to do anything full feature, full length? Absolutely. And I can't wait for people to see that and see me in that light because they really haven't seen me act really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they seem, they seem bits. And, yeah, and, and but grownish. not me in my full capacity, to ah. my full capacity. She was like, Rizzy, chill out. I got more. I got <laughs> more. I have nowhere reached my potential no, or my yeah, ceiling. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. So I, I want to tell you, um, some of the guys who I really... I really revere these dudes because I like the way that mm, they came mm -hmm, up, especially mm -hmm. uh, Justice and, and Tunde over at LBRN. Mm. I understand. Oh, I love Justice. Yeah, just oh man, Justice wears cool pants on Instagram. Go follow him. But he, this guy's like one of the coolest cats mm -hmm. that I've met in the industry, and I just mm -hmm. love what they are doing as a team. Mm -hmm. I understand you're working with them on a on a compilation. Yeah, yeah. Black and I, we did a song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we recorded it back in January. I remember everyone was really excited when we posted those Polaroids from the studio. So. I don't know when that'll come out, but we definitely finished it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure they'll probably play it on uh, Sirius XM because they have a new show on uh, the Heat. Oh, I just nice. found out about. Oh, so congrats to them. Yeah, congrats to them, and they better yeah. be playing that song. You yeah. know, we'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. figure out about that. I'll text yeah, you. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, see yeah, what's yeah. going on with that, man. <laughs> what else can we expect? Like, I know we have the single that's out right now, but mm -hmm. you know, do we have the full project? This is where I'm gonna start prying. I'm gonna start okay. probing and do stuff it. like it's that. Your job. When are we gonna get uh -huh. uh, a project? Are we gonna see something before the end of the year? Absolutely. The project is like 85 to 90 percent done. I've been working on it for a long time, and. I have so much music compiled. It's just the right timing. I am technically a new artist, so, you know, I just have one song out and Have Mercy is just like the tip of the iceberg. I want to release a few more songs before I drop the project, but mm -hmm. that's almost done. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to finish the project before I started putting out a bunch of singles so it's cohesive and it tells a story. I just didn't want to throw anything out there. Got you. Yeah. Got you. And, of course, production with you on there. Mm -hmm. Of course, absolutely. And I also collaborated with a lot of people it was nice being able to free myself up from being behind the computer so much because I usually just engineer and produce myself and I'm just behind the computer, which I love because mm -hmm. I like to control everything. But it's also been really freeing because I get to try out different tones of my voice and I've learned that I actually like my voice on pop records and things like that. So that's been fun. And I'm sure like this experience is exposing you to that because mm -hmm. before, I, you know, I don't, I'm here with you. I want you to tell me, mm -hmm, but I'm mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if you're in one particular lane or you're used to doing something one way, yeah. now that you're experimenting, you're seeing a whole lot more and oh, you're yeah. doing a whole lot more. I us as human beings, we don't realize our capabilities until we like kind of push ourselves and get out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And I've definitely been pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. Got you. And I'm like, oh, you can do that. Oh, you can't do that really well. It's finding out my strengths and my weaknesses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me ask you uh, this question right here. And it's it's, it's something that I, I wondered for a long time. Mm -hmm. Does this does this feel weird without Haley being here? Hallie. Like, Hallie, I'm sorry. No, you with, good. With, without her being here? Is, does this feel weird? Because you guys have been In together In the beginning, so it did. Like, we both had kind of separation anxiety. And even now, I'm like, oh, it's just me. By but myself. yeah, but right now it doesn't feel weird. Like in this moment, no, it feels comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that family feel, you know. We yeah, got that, we got that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I want to say this to you, man. I, um, not ma'am, woman, <laughs> ma'am. I'm so uh, proud of you. Thank I, you. I often think about just happening to stop and just Thank bobbing my head Thank on the you. street and seeing where you're at right now. God is good. And all the time. All the time. All the time, mm -hmm. man. I want people to make sure that they're following you and please. She's at the pictures that she's taking right now. And I don't, is, is the gentleman right here? Is yeah, he the one Julian. Who's taking it? Oh, yeah, Ju yeah. Shouts to Julian. All right. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to take a picture with Julian and show that to my son and be like, this guy's the guy right here. He's the <laughs> one that's responsible for that. But I want to thank you for everything, um, thank especially you. being here with us on Grind Setters. You are putting in the grind and you thank are definitely you. setting the bar. Chloe. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>